choo 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 cause they hope I Oh, I think they like me. You're in my white tea. Oh, I think they like me. You're in my white tea. shine like yours, my bitch. Yo, before the video starts, I just want to say that 80% of you are not subscribed. Like, what? Look, look at my lips, you're ruining it. Can we fix that? Cheese? Alright, you guys, so I'm. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's the first time you guys are hearing my voice. Alright, so. Basically, you guys, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do element 3D text just like Scout. But before we do this, you may need two plugins, which is element 3D from Video Copilot. So obviously, I'll link it down below. You also need Flow just for the graphs I'm about to show you. But yeah, without much being said, we're just gonna open up After Effects. So first, you're just gonna ignore the <laughs> the projects that I did in the past. We're just gonna create a new project. Alright, it doesn't even need to be a long composition, just make it like 5 seconds long, we're just going to call this text tutorial, boom, alright, so first things first, obviously we just have like a blank sequence here, we want to create a text by going to the text editor and just typing up something like this, and then obviously he's just leave it on aerial because Scout loves to use this a lot and bold italics so yeah just have it like that if you have the line set up if you don't have that you have to go to window go to um a line and just have that box tick but for now since it's already here you just go to a line and then we hit this to make it in the middle and hit this to make it literally centered to the middle so now that we got that we turn off this layer, so behind the eye, we just turn it off and then we create a new solid layer. And we're just going to call this element. For this one, you need the element 3D um, plugin, so if you don't have that installed, I'll try link in the description. But for now, you just type in element and then in the effect controls, once it loads up, this should pop up. We want to go to custom layers, custom text and max, and hit J5FF. That should get the text layer into the thing. Now we hit scene setup, and it's going to take us into this thing. Let's make sure I'm still recording. Cool. <laughs> okay. So it's going to take us to this 3D space, doesn't matter where we are. And in order to get the 3D text, we just simply click extrude, and then boom, we got the 3D text. So you can spin around, have a look at it, etc. But for now, we're gonna go to bevels. Uh, I think this folder, this folder should come with the element 3D. If you don't have the folder, at least we'll look for something similar to this thing here, because you can literally change the saturation. Of this it will look really clean. So yeah, you can just do it like that, leave it like that, or. What I recommend doing is increasing the extrude just to make it a little bit wider and increase the uh, extrude of the other like, layers just to make sure it's still there. And then we got something, hold up, I'm just gonna combine, got something like this. And it should look nice. Now we just hit OK and now, boom, it's in our composition. So the movement I like to do a lot is have the text come from the bottom here to the top and hit the screen. In order to do that, we hit group one, click on particle reciprocator, click on position X to Y and position Z because that's what we're going to be messing with. So for now, we're just going to have this like um, probably like two frames or two seconds like in front. And then we're gonna make the text go like close up, and then we're gonna make it go down like this. So you should have something that comes up like this and goes back. And then you just want it to literally go like back a little bit, I mean forward a little bit. So it looks like it's coming towards the screen. So it should look something like boom, bop, bow, you know what I mean? So once you get it, it looks something like that, and it looks kind of boring right now, we'll fix it later. 
For now, you just want to hop into particle look and mess with the multi object. Here in the particle look folder, we go to multi object, enable multi object, and we got all this like you can mess with. This literally changes like the text around the individual layers, etc. So for now, we only want to mess with the X rotation and then mm, yeah, just the X rotation for now. So in future videos, if you need to learn about like rotating text, etc., you can just literally see it here or obviously comment down if you want me to do things like that. But for now, we're going to set this to one and have like a small amount of tilt. So it does like a little flip kind of thing. And then boom, text lands like that. When it's coming forward, we want to have this come like forward a bit. Obviously you mess with the values, but as I did, just like set to 145, comes up, spins round, boom, lands here. And then literally a small amount of tilt. So like 25 and then yeah, you're good. So now we just hit all these values. And then the reason why I say you need flow is because you can't really go into the graphs and do one by one, it's kind of hard. I just recommend getting flow, so just do this. And boom, we got the cleanest graph. Obviously, turn on motion blur, and it should end up with something like this. Obviously in edits it'll be a lot more faster and a lot more better but for now it'll just come up like this and boom hit the screen like that and then just like an extra tip for this tutorial what I personally do is had use sap rights this requires a sapphire plugin that I may have to link in the description again so it's not free but it's a way of getting it for free so you just choose like a bright color like purple, blue, any color you want. Personally, my favorite color is purple. And then we'll come up to the screen and boom, we got like the nice little outlines, etc. You can mess with the heat shift to make it like a little, a little bit more brighter and then just mess with the brightness, of course. And if you really want to go all out, I highly recommend adding hue like saturation. And then you can just change this to one, and then with the keyframes, just drag it to the end, and then you should just get like a little color change going on throughout the whole thing. And yeah, these are the final results. So, hopefully, this tutorial has helped you guys. Make sure you comment down if you want me to um, do a specific tutorial on certain things. And yeah, that's how you do Element 3D text like Scout.